Okay. You think he would have been shot up with drugs and put in a padded room? I don't know. I wonder that. I used to think he was nuts. I used to think he was just some dude. But now, I, it's more. It's, God, it's, it's more than that. He wouldn't have captivated who he, the people that he captivated, because it wasn't like the time they were living in. They were ignorant at all. They were just people like us now, and and they were in a time of like. He appeared at a time of, you know, when the empire was had to, like what it is now. That's why I think, really, that's why I'm so interested in him now because he had this idea that like the government there had kind of control of everything, and religion, the church had control of everything, and he was so radical in his views and of like openness, of like you know people. We can, look at what we can create together. Look at what we can do with our relationships. And that's why I'm so fascinated with him, because he fucking started a religion out of it. He started a movement, a revolution. I mean, he changed the planet. This one guy. Of course, it's not just this one guy. He didn't do it, but he did. He took it upon himself to do it. And he created the relationships. And from there, it, you know, that's where the real power is, is in the relationships. But I don't know, dude. I don't know if he would have been crazy. I don't know. I don't think I don't know if they would have shot him up with drugs. I think people would have listened to him no matter when he appeared, because it, what he was saying was just he was fucking real, and he listened. He didn't have ang he let go of his anger throughout his twenties. I don't know. You don't know anything about his twenties, which is so. I, 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 did he go through like an intense, long-term relationship? Like, what kind of shit did he deal with in his life? That at, 20, at thirty years old he came out and was had all these fucking crazy ideas about relationships and he wasn't afraid of people anymore I went through crazy shit to get to this point where I am and like I didn't even it wasn't like I'm like oh Jesus wants me to be open so I'll be open I never I never thought about him much until recently I've never been really interested in, in him until like a year ago but I went through hell on earth with with my relationship with Amanda and and staying with it despite the pain like realizing the only way to get through it this awful pain was to for me to open my mind and to let go of the fact that things are supposed to be a certain way and to realize that what what she was saying it has nothing to do with me she's just angry and I can't do anything about that really all I can do is be my genuine self so I started doing that and then dude it just fucking caught fire and took off and now I've just been doing it everywhere with people. And now I'm realizing, like, oh, my God, the power of this concept to open up to people. The power that that has. Like, that is what every human being wants. That's an assumption. I know it's an assumption. But prove me wrong. If you don't want it, if you don't want openness and genuine behavior... If you don't want it, let me know. Put a video to this and tell me why you don't want it. Because I believe every single person in the world wants it. Come on, like we're, we're these strange machines. We're these weird creations, these oddities on this planet. Then none of us have any idea what we're doing or why we're here. But there's more to it than what we realize. And we have more in common than we realize. We get so fucking, we're born into fear. We're born into this cycle of fear. We're born not knowing what's going on. We ask people what's going on. They don't know. So we make up things. We, we pretend like we know. Nobody knows. But we all have something in common. All right. Uh, it's good to meet you, Kai. I'm glad you posted that video response. See ya.